East DTA back in, more LEGO Star Wars 2. It's actually been, I'm going to say about a month since life, but yes. Yeah. Also, besides that, you might have noticed there's about an extra 50 odd minutes on here and another few percent. That's because I uh, took some time off screen to go get the uh, true story in the, well, the true Jedi in the story for uh, Mos Eisley Spaceport and, uh, oh, the Battle of Hoth. I can't, if that's the name of the level, I can't remember, even though I just did it. I did those off screen because I wasn't just going to record for 50 minutes me doing Hoth Bound, that's it. Yeah, sorry. Um, got a sidetrack. Now, I wasn't going to sit there for like 50 minutes and just make you watch that. I wasn't going to unnecessarily pad this out. I'm not some clickbait YouTuber. I didn't do anything off screen that was worth worthy recording. I just couldn't be bothered. And I was in like Moss Eisley Spaceport for like fuck knows how long. Uh, I'm just getting all the uh, studs. 165 grand you need in that one just to finish. Yeah, of course, now what I'm just doing is destroying these, so I, I have a lot of studs already. Yeah. It's actually uh, a Friday night, I'm home alone, so I'm just going to be like, well, I'm not Macaulay Culkin. Uh, but no, I'm just like, since it's like Friday night, I'm home alone, I'm just going to speed through these as much as I can. Any characters I couldn't buy? Or, I have a lot of studs I can get anyone, really. Well, not anyone. But yeah, it, I'm just going to speed through, get as much recording done in as much time as I can. I probably waste like the first minute of this one anyway, so... Oh, hang on. Any cheats I want on? Because use old save, that always comes in handy. Uh, Chewbacca carrying C-3PO, why not? Toe Death Star. And Power Brick 2. Oh yes, I haven't got that one yet, have I? We'll carry on with story, rescue the princess. Actually, uh, speaking of Rescue the Princess, I thought I might bring this up. I was actually thinking about it when uh, I was in the middle of a, like just playing Moss Eisley Cantina. Not Moss Eisley Cantina. Oh my god, Moss Eisley Spaceball. I was thinking about the DS version, actually, of this game, and then I thought how crap that was. And that, that reminded me of the DS version of uh, Lego Star's Complete Saga and how Rescue the Princess and Escape from the Death Star were merged into a single level because instead of having si instead of it being six and six, uh, six by six, which makes it sound weird, it was a uh, five by six, which means Lego. Well, episode two was perfectly fine, but a lot of the uh, them got truncated. So the most smoothless one actually was actually, or well, the most un unique about them was in episode five, how the final two levels those got merged together, and I think that did it in quite a uh, good way actually, because you did half the level of I think number six, then you did five. And then the end of six. I think anyway, I can't quite remember. It's been some time since I played it. Because my uh, car cartridge is broken. Is that what it's called? The DS thing? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Find it funny how he fails there. Yo. I'll just respond to that message a bit later. That door shield. Yes, uh, you only play as Obi Wan for like a very small section of this level. This is yeah, which is annoying. Uh, actually, so I think this is one of my most favourite levels from Episode Four. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. I just really enjoyed this level. Secret door already. I've never noticed those cops with before actually. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, now I remember why this was, it, which is annoying because since uh, the DS couldn't handle all of it, this was one of my favourite things to do. <laughs> like, did, you have no idea how much fun this was. I can actually see the mini kit there. Take some of these guys out. You, you just got to kill ten of them. Can I go for chicken one? Oh, I can. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is like a like I don't know why I just really enjoy what is essentially a glorified four machine. But no, uh, 
Since I was once again left home alone, one of the funny things is I was left for like the next three days. I was left with two litres of Dr Pepper. I have gone through those two litres of Dr Pepper within a matter of four hours. Does, does he just not notice I'm picking up? Does he just not like, he's just talking to someone like, oh, how are you doing Dave? How's the family? Oh, there you go Dave. And there's the mini kit. One of the most easiest and fun. Well, actually, now I remember another reason. I'll get to the uh, yeah, a bit later, actually. That's always fun. Okay, so actually, I actually think since I last recorded this game, I was actually like really spamming the crap out. Not spamming, like playing the crap out of Lego Neo Geo in the Xbox 360. I might be wrong about that, so come back. Uh, and I've got to say, the load times were just non existent practically. They were there for like a second. So I didn't have time to do anything, which is a shame because the PS2 loading time is actually quite fun to watch. Okay. Build this. Oh god, the buildables are slow when compared to Lego Hero Joe's because I had the fast still cheat on. Oh Jesus. Now we need R2D2. Oh, Yep, just getting all the studs because, like I said, if I fail to get all the studs in the uh, in the story mode, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna just go back and make you watch all that shit because I I feel like that's a waste of your time and a waste of mine. And because I'm not like a clickbait YouTuber who will do anything to pad out a video to ten minutes to try and get the unlimited ads, because I'm not like that. Don't lock yourselves now, we need you. Oh, hang on, we need helmets. Well. That, that probably came out quite weird. Okay. Han, put on your helmet. So I've got my Han on my helmet. Wait a minute. That probably could have come out better. Just need one of these guys to help it. Oh, hey, hey. I didn't think that would work. Just surviving. Yeah, um, why find... I think this level's got a lot going for it, really. It's probably one of my, one of my favourite levels, because it's quite unique. Like, in the story mode, you see a lot of stuff happening in the, uh, what Obi-Wan's doing that you then... It's like a nice little tutorial to the, uh, free play mode. Oh, there's something back here. No. I probably in the other level or in another section entirely. Aha! Now I have to do the hard so yeah, that that probably no, that is a bit more basic joke actually. I'm above those. Also, when I was doing like, the uh, recording, uh, well not the recording earlier, so when I was just doing uh, my sites and spaceport off screen, I really felt like... See, there's a minikit right there. That is annoying, like, he's taunting you. But when I did it uh, off air, I really learned how clunky some of the... Uh, how was it called? I can't think of what it's called now. Uh, how clunky the uh, lightsaber combat is in this game. I'm not sure if they did that to put more emphasis on the blaster characters. But it wouldn't surprise me. That's for R2, and I believe this one's also for R2. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Like I said, this is what I mean. Like, you see a lot of what you need to do for... I don't understand the tapping thing. I've never been able to get that work off by heart. It's like, how do I put it? Like, I've never been able to just activate it when I wanted to. It just happens automatically all the time. I can't destroy that grapple hook anymore. That's just like that. Oh, yeah, that. I keep Luke's helmet on. Then I should be fine. So I don't think they take damage the same way I'm going to do it. 